This video was published by mbkpinternational.com. In this video, we're going to talk about replacing the main board on the Guillotine EC19 Pro version 2. Here's what the board's, here's a board for it we're going to change out. Um, first thing you want to do before you do anything is unplug this from power. Okay, we'll come around here and you've got this front table here that needs to come off. You've got six screws, three up front and three in the back. It's, especially on these, on these back ones, you're going to need a, a short Phillips. It's just a lot easier. You can use a long one up front. But I'll go ahead and take that off now. Okay, I got the screws out. Now, once all six screws are out, you just kind of put this forward. Slide it forward. And then place it out of your way somewhere. Okay, we're going to be replacing the, taking out this main board here. Um, one thing you want to do when you, before you touch anything in here, before you take any wires off, take a nice clear close-up photo of this board showing all the wires coming out of here and all the wires here and all the wires here and the board. That way you, it will help you make sure everything's back in the correct order. You want to pay attention to this side here. On the left side, you, these should be numbered 1 through 9. And this one, this um, third from the top here, is usually an empty slot. So you can just um, forget about it. On 8 and 9, the last two, the, it's a double wire. So depending on how the wires go in there, you just want to make sure you get both wires in. Sometimes both wires are in inside this um, inside the electrical connector here, both of them together, and sometimes they do them separate. So, and if they're separate, you got to make sure you get them both in there. Just um, just a tip there. Um, but let me unplug one. I'll show you something on the on this side, and it'll be the same on the front. They like to number these. It's like P7. And if you look down here, you might not be able to see it, but right in front of this plug is it P7. And it's same like for this one here. That one's P4. Right there's a P4. This one here is um, number 34. And if you look down there, it's number 34 on the board. Um, let's see here. We're going to be taking all these off now. So, okay, um, the board's been removed. Here it is. It had four. It had four um, screws and one on each corner like that. And under the board, you'll see these um, spacers. Just plastic spacer that's how it's going to go when you're putting the board back in when you're take your old board out and now you're going to put your new board in you're going to that this may be the toughest part is getting these spacers in and getting the screws in because you, know, you got to slide them under it you may want to start with one like this and then take this down and line it up to this hole here which is right there and line it up to the hole and start screwing it off so you get all these wires out of the way and put it kind of on top of the board because all these wires are kind of laying down under it but I'd get, let me get the board down in here Move the wires out of the way, get the board under the wires, and then line up the, I got, again I got the bolt with the spacer and I'll line up that first one there, and then I'll screw that in, but then I'll get take another spacer like so, and I'll slide it under maybe the opposite corner here, and you see the hole right there that the screw is going to go in, you kind of just put it over the hole and put your board on it, and then get your screw down in it. And then line up the hole and screw it in and you got two more to do as well as that right now I'm going to start plugging these things back in I'm going to pay very close attention to the numbers on these again if these numbers were not correct when you took it off pay very close attention to make sure they're correct if they're not get you a uh, fine tip sharpie and make sure the correct number on this corresponds with the number on the on the plug itself on the board but it's pretty simple that'll be the first one right there plug in I'll go on down and plug all these in and, and put all these in on this side okay I got the board back in so you can see all the, they're all plugged in. Got the screws all in on four, all four corners. Um, when you're putting the spacers, the plastic spacers underneath there, just be careful not to let them roll under the board, because then it's kind of a pain in the butt. You gotta you may have to take the board off and get to them. So be very keep them standing straight up and very slow. Move them over the hole, so you don't want them to roll under the board. Then it gets very difficult. You have to get them get something long and thin to get under there to get it fish it out. Probably um, this one here is going to be empty. This one here is going to be empty. And again, just check the numbers on the sides of these um, plugs and match them up with the number on the board next to the plug. Same with the front. The side, again, they're numbered here 1 through 9. Um, this one right here, the third from the top, will be empty. On these last two, there'll be double wires. If they're not in, in the same plug here, if they're not wired in the same plug, if they're separate, you just got to make sure you get them both on there good and that one side is not touching the other or anything like that. Um, that's pretty much it. Make sure you get your screws down. And... 
and check all your plugs again, make sure they're fully plugged in. Make sure none of the wires on these plugs are backing out or anything like that because a wire could back out. You can see the middle post coming out of it. Make, make sure they're all in there um, good on all that stuff. Once that's all in good, make sure, again, make sure all your wires are plugged in. You can turn your cutter on and do a test. Then obviously first you want to close your electronics compartment up. You just take this and, and just slide it in. Before you uh, put your shoes in, you may want to just do a test, um, see if it's working. And that's pretty much it. This video is published by mbkpinternational.com.